Rock's channel right now. Let's get it! What's up everybody, this is Brock and we're here for an episode of All About. If you're a returning subscriber, I thank you for sticking with me through all these videos. And if you're new, well, I'm Brock and I'm just a guy who's going to teach you about saltwater fish. And my info that I give might be a little more trustworthy than your average internet guru guy because I've been working at a saltwater, saltwater fish store for a long time now. So today, let's get right to it. We got the porcupine puffer fish. Super sweet guy. Looks like he's got a smile on his face all the time. The prices for this guy, you're normally about 60 bucks. Tank size, you need about a 180. He's gonna get big. Care level, he's moderate. Temper, he's semi-aggressive. You know, he might nip at a fish every once in a while if he ain't being fed right. Reef compatible? Definitely not. He will eat some corals up. Temperature, you know, keep it 72, 78. DKH, keep it 8 to 12. Your pH, 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity, 1.020 to 1.025. Everything's pretty normal there. The max size, they can get about a foot long. The one that you see is pretty big. Colors you'll see on them are blacks, tans, and yellows. Those blacks are normally when they're little babies, which I'll put in this video as you can see. And they're super, super cute guys. Diet, they are omnivore. We pretty much will feed shrimp about twice a week. And when we can really tell they're full is you can look at their belly and you can see that they almost look like they're pregnant. So just look for that whenever you're feeding them. That's when you can pretty much call it. That's enough shrimp for them. Compatibility with anything, you know, just send me a comment below and let me know what you want to put them with and I can help you out. And these guys are from the Caribbean. Little side facts for them. Don't put any invertebrates in your tank. He will eat them. I mean, he does eat shrimp. And, of course, what everyone asks, they want to see him puffed up. I will put a video of that in here. So, when threatened or scared, he will swell up and the spikes will be out. We would come into the shop sometimes and flip the lights on and he'd puff up like that. And also, whenever like you hear people cooking them, some parts of the meats are poisonous. So you have to cook them just right to get them ready. But really, that's all you need to know for this predator guy. You know, he needs to be in a fish-only tank, really, with uh, some tough fish in there for him. But that's everything for the porcupine puffer fish. I thank you all for being here. Make sure to check out my channel for future episodes, or if you're new, go check it out. There's some fish videos already up, and maybe some other stuff you might enjoy. Hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you all later.